So welcome to this next chapter. I will show you now how you can use the preset browser from Renderman. When you open it, you will have a very big library of preset materials that will be shipped with the Renderman engine. And you can easily add this um, browser by going into the yeah, into the add plus menu and here you can choose the preset browser and I will demonstrate how you can add the material to the LOPS context itself. There is something to know. So the first uh, instinct that every one of us has is we open the preset browser and we um, hit the import button. What we then get is a new material library with the right naming. But as you can see, it's not um, connected correctly and all the sub inputs are also not working correctly. I think this is a bug and will hopefully be fixed in the future in the next release. But this is of course the current situation. What you should do right now is you should delete this and jump back to the OBJ context or to the material context. And then you go to the preset browser and import it again. And now it will directly move to the material context. Here is our correct material. So we will copy it from here, move to the stage back jump into our material library and paste it right into here. And the only thing that we should do right now is we should add the material to our object. So we choose the carbon fiber and here we have it and it should work as you can see. So I can go here and maybe change the frequency a bit for a better demonstration, or maybe four. So as you can see, the material is working. Maybe we can put a light in here to make it more visible. So as you can see, it's working correctly. So this is everything you need to know about how you use the preset browser in the LOPS USD context. See you in the next chapter.